Looking at space weather, we have cracks in the magnetic field. Also, spectacular auroras. Take a look. This is today, 25th. This is Norway. This is what it looks like. And here are four images. This one here looks like a sword to me. I'm just using my imagination without thinking. This looks like a horse figure. This looks like a, some sort of bird type. And this looks like a dragon. That's what I see. I mean, we all see pareidolia in the cloud. We, we have that coming in through the, through the atmosphere, through the crack of the magnetic field. Now, this is a window, it's four hours, and then it deletes. This is live, and this is what we have right now. So there is cracks, you can see in the backside, the night side. This is what it's looking like upstairs. I mean, the, her the earth is getting hammered with energy. Just thought I'd put that out there. I don't know what if, what we're getting hit with. Let me just go back and look at space weather. Well, it doesn't say no geomagnetic storm. It is, I mean, it's no M-class for since yet. No, not. The last M-class we had was back in three days ago. Yeah, right here, the 23rd. And it was a little one. So I don't know if that's, uh, we're getting hit with that. Okay, we're looking at a G1, which is not that bad for it to be the way it looks. Look at the dashboard. What we have here as far as energy is concerned. Take over here to look, see what's happening today, 25th. 25th right about there let me freeze it so it's really nothing nothing major for it to be the way it is so i just thought i passed that on there now i just want to talk a little brief so far so good with the the videos not being i've had problems for the last couple of days guys i was working on a project right here this one right here and this one i had major problems kicking these out I still got to do some I'm working on I'm into comets always have been and I'm putting these together slowly uh, this is the la latest that I just put just put out uh, I was drawn to it and trying to put this numerology together what things pops in my head I just put it on this this laboratory chalkboard I'm using this as a chalkboard and it's under it's still under construction but to me as a comet watcher observer passionate for years i mean i covered com more comets than than that's on this youtube channel and i try to decipher it i close my eyes meditate on it and the first thing pops in i just put it on there i mean these are like thoughts messages and that's what i'm doing so this is still under construction. It's the most, it, it's, I had, like I said, I had problems putting this together, but there is three comets under the right foot of the serpent. I mean, right, yeah, under the serpent, especially this one, 21P, that's the meteor showers that we're gonna get on October 9th, 10th, 11th. And there's another meteor shower that's gonna start today. No, no, on the 25th or the 27th, to of uh, september so that's what we're having up there that's what's the messages that i see and what, what what i also notice what i feel too um grandpa observing that a lot of the prophets are activated they're out there they're posting they're posting everywhere they're talking finally thank god and they're sharing their dreams and visions and if you're getting dreams and vision please share it Try to save one. Try to save as many as possible. You have the, you have the power. You have you have the gift, and it's time to utilize it because we are we are in that that time. And you can sense it. You can feel it. You can see it. Uh, there's so much, so much happening around the world. I mean, I could just go on and and talk about things that are happening around the world with Israel, the signs today got uh, hit in Tel Aviv. The war is, it's gonna escalate. We all see it, we all feel it, we all know it. It's in the book of Revelation. It's in the prophecies. We all know that, we feel it. It doesn't take, take, uh, what's the palabra? A ver, uh, well, you can see it. Just trust your feelings, trust your, trust your spirit and you will 
you will get visions, insights. Now, I was covering this fire that happened in Cordoba because there's so much. How the fire consumed that area. The reason I'm not putting this out because he put the music. I don't know why people want to put stuff like this and they put a music and then you get copyrighted and then your video gets taken uh, para abajo. So, but it was a fire. Still trying to get confirmation if the, the, the statue was moved. Some are saying it was moved, but there are other images. Well, this here, when the fire was actually occurring. And if it, this is legit, you can see the statue is not even, doesn't even have ashes as you have a, a tremendous wildfire engulfing the whole area. Here's a site right here in Facebook. If you want to check it out, check it out. So much information pouring in. I, I feel this was the original location. As the fire engulfed the whole, you, you got, okay, you got some ashes here, but basically the flowers, uh, basically they're like, it's like the volcano in, in La Palma, where about three three eruptions, the lava flow, and it just stopped right before the the statue of Fatima. I made videos on that, and I talked about that, where the the, the lava went around, it didn't get touched. More miracles. More miracles. So this is the the original, and yes, you can see it didn't get touched. So we have a. A mess, a holy site, a message. But there's more, much more. Okay, we all see that the war is escalating. Uh, what's uh, H hit the head, uh, this headquarters in, in the capital or the outskirts of the capital? Look like a direct hit. But there's much, much more. We got meteors coming in greenish, bluish. Very soon, very soon, very soon. Okay, don't despair. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. Just going to put that out there so you can see. That this is the way I look at like comets the way I follow it you know like a bouncing musical um, like a bouncing ball and basically sometimes I, I'm able to get the right tune that's what I that's the way I see it something like that no comment Okay, I want to end this with this video right here. If if you look at, the, I have a diagram on one of the videos with the hurricane. I think I posted it seven, eight days ago, which shows more. But you need to listen to this, and I'll close out with this. And here we go. Credit to this person right here. Put the volume up. You should stick around. Let's start off by talking about this supposed asteroid that's coming to start orbiting Earth for a little while. There it just happens to be 33 meters in diameter. Shocker. Well, I'm going to let you listen to a little news story about it, and then we're going to dive deeper. For the next two months, Earth will have a new celestial neighbor, a mini-moon. Asteroid 2024 PT5 was spotted on a trajectory toward Earth last month. Scientists say the small asteroid will temporarily enter our gravity in a horseshoe orbit starting September 29th and then leave almost as quickly as it came about 56 days later on November 25th. The asteroid, take a look at the sizing here. It's 33 feet long. Should it be a micro moon? Three, three. It's taller than the average giraffe, not quite as wide as a city bus. And because of its size, most people won't get a glimpse of this mini moon. Too small to see without professional equipment, but maybe you know somebody with a really nice telescope. Let's first look at how she literally couldn't even stop herself from cracking up talking about this. A mini moon.
She knows. Now, other than the size of it being 33 feet, of course, because they love their number 33, having the giraffe in there struck me as odd, so I had to do some gematria. So I put giraffe in the old gematria calculator, and I started scrolling. And nothing, everything actually seemed normal, just names, giraffe. But then I came across the one thing that was not a name. I am an angel. Amen. Do you know that the Book of Enoch, which was conveniently removed from the Bible, references how stars are actually angels? This yep. is the place, the end of the heavens and the earth. This is the prison for the stars of heaven and the host of heaven. So maybe what they're calling a giant asteroid is going to be something much more spiritual. Or yes. maybe they're just going to use the gravity of this in our atmosphere as an excuse for all sorts of natural earthquakes it's no and coincidence. tsunamis and tornadoes. Who really knows? So One many other things. thing that caught my attention while I was watching this newscast was ha I thought this girl looked a lot like Katy Perry. But maybe it's just because I've been staring Harlots. at John Renee Ramsey's face all day. I mean, Katy Perry's face all day. But when I did Gematria, the name of the asteroid, the first thing that came up was central casting. So maybe I'm onto something. But getting back to the main topic at hand, you know, this is all for entertainment. I know that there's an asteroid coming and it's going to orbit the moon miraculously for exactly 56 days. And they know that because, well, they're just so smart. Them and all the rocket scientists. Entertainment only, people. Have a good day. Thumbs up. And then we have this Nazareth attacked. Nazareth. On fire. 